Amberlynn Reed recently uploaded a video entitled Fat Shaming. In that video, she called herself a victim of this. I do not believe in the victim mentality, nor do I believe that you are shamed unless you allow yourself to be. The definition of the word shame is an overwhelming sense of humiliation or the lack of self-esteem. Calling yourself a victim of shame gives yourself permission to feel badly about yourself and it tells people how you think you deserve to be treated. There are people in this world that are going to treat you differently no matter what you look like or what you act like. That's just the way the world is. People are treated differently because of their weight, whether they're fat or thin, of their race, of their sexual preference, of their disability. Everybody is judged on something. And if we're honest with ourselves, I don't think that there are any of us who has never made a comment about somebody else's appearance. Whether we thought it to ourselves or said it out loud to somebody else, we have all done this. Is it right? Absolutely not. Should we be more conscious and compassionate about how we treat others? Absolutely. But being a victim is just telling the world how we think we deserve to be treated. None of us have to feel ashamed. It's how we react to what people say that defines whether we allow ourselves to be shamed. What other people say about us is not our concern. Their opinions should not matter to us. Of course it stings when someone says something hurtful about you, but you have to know your own self-worth and know that what other people think of you doesn't matter. I can think of two examples in my recent past that if they'd have happened to me in my late teens or early 20s, I would have handled it a lot differently than I did today. One was I was at Walmart and two guys were checking out in front of me. They were in their probably 20s and one guy turned around and pointed at me and said to his friend, how would you like to insert the F word, that. The other guy just laughed hysterically and said, no way. And then they walked away. Had that happened to me in my late teens, early 20s, I would have broke down and cried so bad. I didn't say anything to them because, first of all, nothing you're going to say to someone is going to change their opinion of you. They've already formed their judgment and it's just what it is. So there is no reason to fight with someone to try to make them see you any differently. The second time happened in a McDonald's restaurant. There was a group of teenagers inside and they were behind us in line. I was standing at the counter waiting to be waited on. And the cashier said, how can I help you? What would you like? And the group of teenage boys behind me said she wants one of everything on the menu and yeah that did sting but I have to consider the fact again that what other people's opinions of me don't matter they're teenagers they're judgmental and I would hope that as they would get older they would learn not to be so judgmental sure they should have learned already not to if they would have had better parenting they wouldn't have but still their teenagers hopefully they'll change the way they look at people I think when you are someone who is quote-unquote different or not normal whatever it is normal is or the definition of what society deems as normal you put up a wall around yourself because you expect to be made fun of you expect to be ridiculed or shamed and what you expect and how you feel about yourself becomes the reality of how you're treated. I'm not saying there aren't people out there that treat fat people different. It's true, it happens. But there are people out there that treat black people different, that treat short people different, that treat skinny people different. Everybody has something about them that they are treated differently. And when you put up a wall around yourself and you have an attitude of this is how I'm going to be treated 
that generally becomes the way you see yourself as being treated, whether it is reality or not. It's really easy to believe and remember the negative things about the people say about you. But why not choose to remember and believe the positive things people say about you? I could hold on to the fact of what those people said to me at those times and believe them and let them hurt me. But I rather believe and remember the positive things people say about me. When people say I have a good heart, when people say I have beautiful eyes, a beautiful smile, and a beautiful soul, I rather remember the good than the bad and know that my self-worth has nothing to do with my outside appearance. I believe that I am a beautiful person inside and out. Not everyone would agree with that. Some people would say that I'm ugly. Some people would say that I'm mean. I'm hateful. Everybody has their own opinion of you. But I choose to believe what people say, the good things people say about me. And I like to think that this outside shell doesn't really matter as much as what is inside of us. How you act and how you treat other people is what matters in this life. I don't believe in using the word shame. I cannot be shamed unless I allow myself to be shamed. I cannot be a victim unless I play a victim. I don't believe in it. Instead of seeing yourself as shamed or a victim, I'd rather see myself as a strong person who believes in myself, who says, yes, there are people in the world who think badly of me, but there are just as many people who think good of me. That's just my views. Don't be a victim. Everybody is made fun of. Why let everybody else define who you are?